Pounds. From Memphis, Tennessee, Jerry Bryant. And from Indianapolis, Indiana, Steve Regal. This match, one fall, 15-minute time limit. Referee is Paul Morton. Let's see, looks like Jerry Bryant is going to be starting for his team. And the Southern Championship belts being taken off now by the Assassins. Handed outside the ring for safekeeping. This is a non-title match, by the way. Referee says ring the bell. We are underway. One fall, 15-minute time limit match again. Side mare by Jerry Bryant puts the big assassin down on the mat. Bryant, another good move. Assassin on the mat, but back on his feet again quickly. Bryant almost backed into the corner, but he reverses it, puts the assassin in the corner. Drag all the way across the ring. Assassin quickly on his feet. Bryant back in the corner now. A little hair pulling by the assassin as he yanked Bryant out of there. Bryant with a whip. Oh, tried to slam, couldn't get him far off the canvas. Got a two. Bryant could not get the assassin too far off the canvas, but he did drive him on down to the mat. Well, a lot of size. In the assassin's corner over there, 590 pounds, both of them huge. The assassin with the head scissors on Jerry Bryant. Bryant kicks his way out of it, on his feet quickly. Very agile team, Bryant and Steve Regal. They have to be uh, considered slight underdogs in the match. Anybody that steps in here against uh, the team of the Assassins is usually giving away quite a bit of weight. Don't count Bryant and Regal out of it because they have uh, quite a bit of speed on their side. Steve Regal especially has been most impressive. In recent matches, hey, the Assassins whipped into the corner. Over the shoulder, Jerry Bryant with a cover. One, two. Yeah, the assassin gets there, breaks it up at the two count. Bryant, again, put the assassin down. The assassin converts to a head scissors. Hair pulling, perhaps. Couldn't see it, yeah, but referee Paul Morton indicates he caught him pulling hair, and he made the assassin give up the hold. Two minutes, 12 seconds gone in this one. Steve Regal in to try to help Jerry Bryant out. He's sent back to the corner. The assassin. Oh, that knee. Assassins make a tag. Oh. Jerry Bryant on the mat. A cover. One, two, two count. Jerry Bryant kicks out of it. He's still in there. Been Jerry Bryant all the way in this one, the official man in the ring. Steve Regal. Starting the cheers. Crowd behind Jerry Bryant. Jerry needs to get over to the corner, get the tag on his partner, Steve Regal. Face lock by the assassin. Bryant trying to break loose. Unsuccessful so far, but now he's out of it. Too far away from the corner. He started to his feet. He's very near the assassin's corner. Steve Regal stepped in the air and uh, said to referee Paul Morton, hey, that's two against one. One of them out of there. Cover by the count of two. There's the tag. Here comes Steve Regal. Regal has been watching for three and a half minutes. Good drop kick, and he puts the assassin on the mat. The other one steps in, and he gets a drop kick, too. Assassin number one and two both down on the floor. Now it's assassin number one rolling back under the ropes, into the ring. Steve Regal waiting for him there. Three minutes, 50 seconds gone. And a one fall, 15 minute time limit match. Assassins, the current holders of the Southern Tag Team Championships. This is a non-title match. Title or no, Regal and Bryant would love to put away a victory over these assassins. Regal with a cover. Two count, but the assassin breaks out of it at two. Regal, good move. Nice leg drop. Puts the assassin back down to the mat. Steve pulling him over closer to his corner. Gets the tag on Jerry Bryant. Jerry's had a little time to recuperate. 
after being worked over by the assassins. There's a cover by Bryant. He only got a one count. Jerry goes to work on the leg, trying to soften the assassin up. Get him in position where he can hold him for a count of three. The assassin. Assassin not able to make a great effort to get out of it. Brian had a pretty good hold on him. Makes the tag, and here is Steve Regal. Regal takes over. He goes to work on the assassin's left leg. There's a tag made. Jerry Bryant right back to work. Good strategy by Regal and Bryant. Bryant trying to catch the assassin before he gets to the corner. He almost had him, but the assassin was able to make it. Just barely got the tag. Big assassin number one, I think. Hard to tell him apart, is in there now. Yeah, that's assassin number one against Jerry Bryant. Bryant picked straight up in the air. Look out. Oh, a drive down to the mat. Not so much a slam as he just drove him straight into the mat. Oh, on the arm. He sprung that thing. Assassins make a tag. Steve Regal trying to break up that double team on the exchange. Six minutes gone. Bryant. Oh, driven to the mat again with that arm hung up behind him. Now the assassin puts the stretch on it. The other assassin sits down on Jerry Bryant's left arm, which they have really worked on. Shoulder into the turnbuckle. Bryant. Assassin picks him up again. Over his shoulder. Mm. Ryan pulled his arm back, starts for the corner, needs to get the tag, but the assassin caught him by the foot. Not far away from the tag, Brian has to stay in there, unable to get to the corner. There was some hair pulling. Don't know if the referee could see it or not. It was across the ring from where he was. Brian yanked down to the mat. And the assassin continue to work on his left arm. Seven minutes, 20 seconds gone. Steve Regal telling Jerry, hey, don't give up. Try to get over here and get tag. Bryant trying to roll across the ring, get to the corner. But the assassin got him pretty well tied up. You see, he's got a handful of hair. Yanks him down to the mat. He's warned about it by referee Paul Morton. Possible submission. Let's see. Referees. The assassins get a submission out of Jerry Bryant. They had really worked him over. Boy, that left arm. They had done just about everything to it they could. Slammed him with it uh, behind him and uh, what have you. And finally, the assassins are working on it, and Jerry Bryant just, just couldn't hang on anymore. He gave it a good go. He stayed in there uh, a lot longer than I would have, I tell you. But uh, Jerry finally had to give it up. So the win is going to go to the assassins over Steve Regal and Jerry Bryant. Steve helping Jerry uh, out of the ring area now. Hey, Dave. Yeah, Steve. Something's got to be done about that. Man, they're trying to break everybody's arm around here. That, we got to do something about it. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more, Steve. Uh, the assassins have, uh, have been hurting arms uh, with great regularity here the last few weeks. But uh, Jerry on his way back to the dressing room now. Again, uh, the assassins win at the time on it. Seven minutes, 51 seconds. 7.51. We'll be back with.